Boids are simulations of how groups of animals, like birds or fish, move together. Each boid follows some basic rules that include staying close to others, but avoid crowding, and they match the speed of nearby boids. And creating boids in games can be very complex, so this is why I made a very easy to use and customizable boid module. The first link in the description is to go get this module and it is just the singular module script and it has many features in it. But first let's actually go over how we can use this module. So the first thing we're going to do is in our starter player script we're going to insert a local script. And the first thing we're going to do is get the Boyd's module script just like this. And then how we actually make a new Boyd system is by calling Boyds.new. And so from this, we get a new Boyd system that we can use or use methods onto it. Now in the Boyd system, we can send in some settings. And the settings that we can apply to this system can be found in the module. So if we open this back up again, there's a whole bunch of type stuff uh, here. But if we scroll down, there is default settings. And these are all of the settings that we can configure in the module. And this is why I said that it is very customizable. And to make your guys' life easier, I added a comment beside each one to help you guys understand which what each one does. So to actually use these settings, whoops, I accidentally put that out of place, but what we're going to do is make a table called settings and all of our settings that we want to change, we can configure in this table. But if we don't configure that setting, then it will default back to what you see here. And to start off, I'm going to be using these settings right here the max speed you know the speed things here the separation radius and all of these other ones bound size bound center so i will explain more in depth of what these do in a bit but these are the settings we're going to go with for now and so in the system we're going to send in our settings so once we've created a new system and supplied it with these settings the next thing we need to do is actually create it so what I'm going to say is a void system and a colon, and then we're going to go to create voids, which is where we can configure more things with the actual visuals of the system. And the first thing is the template, which is what your fish or bird or whatever the void looks like. This is how you can configure the visuals of that. And so I actually already have a function made that will just make a new part and change the color make it neon so let me get that real quick okay so here is our function we are just making a new part setting the size the material the color making sure that can Clyde is set to false anchored is true and just returning this part back to the system so in here i'm going to say create fish template which will give us that part and then the count, which is the number of boids you want in the system. Right now, I'm just going to start off with five, but we can get even crazier with this. And I will demonstrate that in a second. And then the next thing we can supply is a parent folder for organization. So what I haven't done yet is put a folder in workspace uh, to supply this. So I'm just going to create a folder. And for this example, I'm going to act like it's fish. So I'm going to say client fish. And then I will get a new variable for that here. And then client fish will go here. So all of the fish in the system will go in this folder. So now we are going to hit play on our game. And we see that there are some parts or boids going around in our game. Now there's some that's down here some that it's up there and if we check our folder all of our fish are there and you guys can kind of tell that the fish are kind of just wandering off right they're just going in all sorts of directions but what if we wanted to change this 
Well, there is something I've added in here that allows us to do that, and that is set target. So after we start it, we can say Boyd system set target, and this we send in a target position. And so basically the Boyds kind of have a reference point. So if it was the spawn location, and if it was in the air or something, then the Boyds would go around off of this spawn location instead of just wandering off into space. So I'm going to create a new part and then call it reference and I'll just customize a few more things and I'll come back to you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, so we now have this reference part in our game which is lowered off the ground so that the Boyds are kind of like underwater and they're not just on the ground. So in our script again, in set target, I'm going to get another variable this will get reference and we send in reference dot position and we can head back into our game and then the fish are going around the reference instead of just going out into space see they come back this one's coming back because uh, it has to fit in, into the bound size so they're all around the part as you can see here So guys, that was pretty much the basics of this module. Let's get into some extra stuff in this system. And the thing is, in Boyd system, what if we wanted to change our settings while it's actually going on, while the system is running? Well, there is something called update settings, and then we can send in a table with new settings. So let's say, for example, in our settings, we want to do change, I don't know, whatever setting, right? We would make a new table in here and then set whatever we want. So let's say I wanted to change the max and the minimum speed. I'm just going to copy these two, put it down here in update settings. Let's say I wanted to make them go a little bit faster. So I'm going to say the uh, minimum speed is 10 and the maximum is 15. And we're going to wait a few seconds for this to happen. So test out weights three. Go back into our game. Here are our boys again. And after a few seconds, you see that they speed up and everything works just fine. So if you wanted to update any settings during runtime, you can just send them in here and it will work just fine. Now, if you guys are wondering why they're going out into space with the uh, increased speed, this is because when you increase the speed, you also would want to change. I'm going to look at the setting in the module again. You would also want to change. Let's see. Where is it? Uh, I can't find it. Where is it? Right here. Bounds weight. So when there is an increased speed, you'd also want to increase bounds weight so they will more strongly stay in the bounds so in our settings i want to say bounds weight and we're going to increase this to what is that two we're going to set it to five so with that increased speed they will more strongly stay inside the bounds that we give it which was uh 35 by 50 by 35 and the bound center is 25 on the y-axis now as you can see now they are sticking around and yeah everything looks nice okay guys so now let's get into the cleaning up part of this module there are two methods which are stop and there's also clear now stop just stops the movement of the boys so it just makes them idle but clear stops them and also destroys them so if we go to the module and we find clear we see that the in the clear method that it stops using the uh, stop method and then destroys it and resets everything so if you want to destroy it and clear up everything 
then just call clear. But stop is just for stopping the actual movement of the Boyds. So when the player leaves the game, so maybe game.players.localplayer.destroying, uh, destroying connect function, you would probably want to say Boyd system clear, just like that. So it uh, freshes up everything and just clears up uh, everything that you're not using anymore once your player leaves. Okay, guys, so the last thing I would like to go over in this system is the models in this system and how you can use them. So how we can use models in the system is I'm just going to create a part anchored can set the false I'm trying to group it and I'm going to set the primary part of the model to this main part here and then I'm just going to get the front face here and just make it oh maybe something like this so this will be our model kind of thing and we have our part and make sure that the model's primary part is the main part in your system so in our code we can just make another variable so model game dot workspace model and then i'm just going to make a function that clones the model so um, clone model and this will just say clone model clone and, return clone and then if you have multiple parts in your model so let's just say for example he has a little hat up uh up here like this then what you would want to do is i'm just going to call this primary so we know what it is and we can still see that the primary part is primary we're going to make a weld constraint and i'm going to set the part zero to primary and the other part uh, or the part one to the other part and you would want to do this for all the other parts that you have in the model just so they're welded together and they all stay together in the system so in our script instead of create fish template we're just going to say clone model and then head into our game we're just going to move him over there oh i might have done something wrong <laughs> okay that was my bad guys there was nothing wrong with the actual system i just accidentally uh, deleted something that i wasn't supposed to but it's all fixed now and don't worry guys your module will be a-okay uh in the link so if we just go back and play test again we see that our models are there and his little hat is there too and everything works fine. So just some other additional information that you guys might be wondering about or anything like that. So in this example, I have two void systems and you can easily see that by the two different colors. And when you first spawn into the game, you will notice that they're very scattered and it will take a just a little bit amount of time for them to actually group together and start moving like actual Boyd. So just keep that in mind. They will take a little bit to actually start getting grouped together. And you will also see that there are some Boyds just kind of all the way out here. And this is what i've added called a wander behavior so they're just all the way out here they're wandering off and if you see any other boids that are kind of just out away from where they're supposed to be that's just called the wandering behavior that makes it feel a little bit more realistic so don't worry about that and yeah just if you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comments. If there's any bugs about the module, please let me know in the comments. But if you need any help, I have a scripting help channel in my Discord and we can help you guys out. But yeah. And also, if you guys were wondering about the Boyds going into the ground, this has been already fixed. So this is just a post me saying that this is already fixed See, they don't go under the map anymore and that was just how it was at the time of the recording but yeah if you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video peace